Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Luka Russian and today I want to bring you guys the top 5 worst maps in Call of Duty Zombies. And to get this out of the way real quick, we ain't including Exo Zombies or Infinite Warfare Zombies, alright? So there ain't no goddamn Burger Town on this list, alright? But with that out of the way, let's get right into the number 5 spot. So coming in at our number 5 spot is Shino Numa. Okay, I'm going to try to be as nice as I can here, but Shino Numa was a World of War map and was a product of its time and it should have stayed in World of War. It shouldn't have been remastered twice in Black Ops 1 and for Black Ops 3. At this point, zombies maps have become so complicated that Shino Numa is one of those maps that really didn't age all that well to be quite honest with you. There's a few radios, a couple interesting quotes, but there's not very much story to it. On World of War, Shino is laughably easy and everyone used the same couple of strategies to get to ridiculous rounds like I think one guy has a 9,000 on Shino Numa on World of War, and now on BO3, with even the water being impossible to go through, we have Gobblegums, Widow's Wine with the Wonder Waff, and it's still really easy to actually train in certain areas. Yeah, it's different from what it was on World of War and Black Ops 1, but still, it's actually super easy to actually get to high rounds on this map. Any World of War original map could have made this list, but I chose Shino Numa on this one. Now up next to our number 4 spot is Transit. Oh baby, I can feel all those dislikes right now. People are going to be screaming in the comments, why wasn't Transit number one? It's the worst map that's ever been made. And I'll tell you why it wasn't the number one spot. Because seriously, what hasn't been said about Transit at this point? We all know that it's garbage. And I don't need to go super in depth with that because at this point it's being a dead horse. I will say though that because Town was a huge redeemer, it makes up for some of Transit's downfalls. Town is still the most played BO2 map to this day because it's small, easy to set up, and it's massively simple. It's a map that's easy to be good at, but near impossible to master and i think that a lot of the green run maps as a whole that were a product of transit were actually pretty good maps farm wasn't terrible bus depot was a nice challenge and town is actually a really good map to a lot of people especially for casuals they love that map to be quite honest with you because it is so easy and because of that, I can't make Transit the worst map of all time, so I put it at number 4 because I had to put it on the list somewhere, but these three other maps I have such a personal beef with. So up next to our number 3 spot is Shangri-La. Okay, so I can't accurately describe to you my personal hatred for Shangri-La without screaming at the top of my lungs. Shang pisses me off more than you could possibly imagine because of its constant need to be overly difficult. The spawns all over the map have never made any sense to me, the special zombies are just straight up annoying, the monkeys that take your drops are something that never need to be in the game, and generally speaking, I hate the entire map's layout. There are maps that are made purposely difficult because of the fact that they have a great wonder weapon or they have a a really good training spot but the problem here is that Shang really doesn't have any of those. Shang is just difficult for the purpose of being difficult and as a zombies player that has been playing for seven eight nine years basically it actually is pointless to me to go and play Shang because I think to myself at this point I played every single zombies map and I play zombies basically every single day. I don't need a challenge anymore to myself. I don't need to prove myself as a good zombies player so Shang just pisses me off. And my hatred for this map goes so deep that I've played this map 8 times in my life. 5 of them were for videos, 2 of them were when the map first released on Black Ops 1, and the last time was by me accidentally clicking on and being too lazy to go and end my game. Now into our number 2 spot is Zetsubo no Shima. Again, this is another map that I really can't describe to you how much I actually hate it, so I'm actually going to let myself from a couple weeks ago describe it. Okay, so I want to talk about this wannabe Shrek looking ass motherfucker called the Thrasher, alright? So he is the bane of my existence right now. Okay, so I'm sitting here streaming. Guess how many of these motherfuckers that I got in 21 rounds? Just take a second, I'll, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait. 15! And see, I wouldn't even be that mad about it if he wasn't fucking impossible to kill, I swear. The skull is basically laughable at this dude. He just goes, oh, that tickled a little bit. You know, I feel nice and funny on the inside. And then everything else, including all the double pack abilities, do nothing to this motherfucker. And then the KT4, he's just getting lathered in shampoo, you know what I mean? This dude just wipes all that shit off. He goes, you know what, I'm just gonna run right through them and then I'm gonna basically one-hit you. This isn't even like one of those situations with the fucking Panzer, right? Because at least he's on good maps, alright? This dude is on one of the worst maps they've ever made. Fucking Zetsubo no Shima, right? This dude lives in a poor man Shrek swamp, okay? He is a big motherfucker and he doesn't need to be in the game, alright? If he was, you know, just as annoying as the Panzer, right? That's fine, that's fine, whatever, I'm good with that. But he spawns in literally fucking constantly. He's actually harder to kill sometimes than him. I've been on round 65, right? And I've had seven of him spawned in at the exact same time and they literally just run through everything. He is impossible to fucking kill because 
you need to hit him in certain spots at least with the panzer right there's things that can actually kill him pretty easily in his maps like let's say the Reagan mark ii the staffs the bows whatever they are right there's things that can actually help with that what the fuck is there to help kill shrek and finally, coming into our number one spot on the worst maps of all time, I have five. I have never been more serious in my life. I will never be able to think of the number five the same way again after I played this map. When I count in my head, I go one, two, three, four, and then six because five pisses me off way too much. There's a reason why I made a nine minute video a few months ago talking about this piece of shit map. I mean, where do I even begin? The Wonder Weapon the Winner's Hell is laughably bad past round 20. There's no even decent training spots. Yeah, you can do it at the bottom of the war room, but after about round 30, the spawns get way too hectic and the Winner's Hell ain't gonna save you, that's for damn sure. And the wives are way too damn complicated. I still can't find my way around that map after it's been out since 2010. I don't even know where I'm going most of the time. I just run through teleporters hoping that I get somewhere and I just kind of run around hoping that I find the box when it gets down there. But seriously, ever just hate something that you actually can't explain fully why you hate it so much? That's five for me and especially because Kino was done for years before Black Ops 1 came out because it was supposed to be in World of War. Trek should have had ample time to make this map not bad but they messed it up and they messed it up horribly. But these were my picks for the top five worst maps in Call of Duty Zombies. Tell me in the comment section down below, do you agree with me? Do you not agree with me? Obviously people are not gonna agree with me. They're gonna say Trans is the worst map. They're gonna say, how could you obviously make Shang one of the worst maps? There's gonna be some arguing in the comments on this one, but I'd love to hear it. Way down there, I'd appreciate a like. Subscribe if you guys are new around here and turn on notifications to my daddy. Check out all the links in the description and check out my video from yesterday. It's gonna be popping up on the screen now. Anyway, I do love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.